For the Indiana Fever, it'll be Mitchell, Mitchell, Achanma, Dupree, and Victoria Vivian started starting her 11th consecutive game and her college coach, Vic Schaefer of Mississippi State, up in the stands tonight. And the starting five that Fred Williams has kind of gone to now is Skylar Diggins-Smith, Alicia Gray, Liz Cambage, Kayla Thornton, and Glory Johnson. When we are underway, that's a trend we're seeing. Nobody is even jumping against Liz Cambage last game. Talked to her tonight. She said she's fine. Kind of stunned her more than anything. Skylar on the drive. We see early Irish going against Irish. Great finish by Skylar Diggins-Smith. Coming off that double-double in the last game versus Chicago. Skyler sees the opening again, makes it look too easy. Oki Chapman will not like that. Went nuts, and ever since then, she's played that way. Ball knocked around. Kayla comes up with it. Cambage inside. Nope, we'll do it again. This time we got it, and she gives the Liz Cambage look. Really, it's the evolution and learning how to impact the game more as we see Ace get her first buckets of the game. In the WNBA. Side Liz Cambage. No, look who's there. Kayla. KT does it again. Lori Johnson checked in. Tough shot, Dupree. Got it. Dupree, tough baseline jumper. She is so consistent. 12 of the 16 games she's been in double figures. They call her Mama Dupree. She's got two at home. She's got three rookies she's taking care of. They don't know what to do with her when she's not around, as they found out when they were in New York. They missed having her on the road. Oh, yeah. Because she's such a mom to them all. Speaking of moms. There you go. Glory Johnson with twins. Now, and I, I like how he's found those minutes in that first quarter. 34.6 minutes a game as Kathy Pondexter rattles at home between the two teams are being scored. And this is what Indiana can do to you now. They can make you feel like you're playing a little bit of ugly basketball. Ace finishing that beautifully. Nothing ugly yep. about that it's for a break. Kayla George has checked into the lineup for the Dallas Wings. So is Kayla Davis. Pull up by Pondexter, buries it. Pondexter brings, obviously, the experience, but she brings some scoring. You're that averaged over three points right. per game coming off the bench, so that's what Cappy brings. Desiree Stevens was calling for the ball early and finally got it to her. Blaze Gray makes the steal. Stevens on the right. Stevens will take it. Got it. Murray Johnson triggers it. No. Lord, the rebound. Put back. Stevens, the offensive rebound. Sees the opening. Is a screensaver. Six straight for Azrae Stevens and Pondexter again. Megan Beebley, Alexis Shaw, I'm Ron Thulin. Good to have you with us tonight. Wings closing out this three game homestand. Glory Johnson. She's got four in the ball game. Yeah, opportunity yep. through an inbound. Last two games, Kayla George has shot the ball well. Four or five shooting, five points in each. Kayla Davis with the left hand, biggest lead of the game. It's at nine. Easy win, but this is a game where you have an advantage in the post. Kayla Davis knocks down the three. Big team out here for Dallas right now. George with the three. My goodness. 62% of her shots this season are from beyond the arc. I mean, look at the size. Dallas turns it over again. But the size that Dallas has. Mitchell on the drive. No. A Chunma follows it up. Got it. And a foul. Players, regardless of position or conference, please vote for Liz Cambage and Skyler. Way home here in the second. Stevens looks for Cambage. Wheeler shows the double. Doesn't help much. And then... The, again, spreading the wings by Liz Gambay. He's now four rebounds already. Lost the handle. These high turnovers are killing right now, the Dallas Wings. If you're going to turn the ball over, don't turn it up, the, turn it over that high. That's easy layups for the Fever. College level, but club and high school as well. Dupree with three to shoot. I don't know if she knows the time. Liz Cambage falls down. And Dupree's in double digits with 10. I think Dupree was very well of the time. Yeah, clock at seven. Skyler on Dupree. That's a tough cover for her. She banks it home. Well, so smart. Dupree, again, you talk about smooth. She was balanced and under control and for Skyler Diggins-Smith. Already a dozen for Candace Dupree as we go inside of two minutes. Azure Stevens knocks down the three. A 
much needed three. Yes. We needed to score. Take it's about mm -hmm. how many shots you make and your efficiency. And so far, we're seeing that once again out of Azure Stevens and being efficient. It's in the game, a complete game for the rookie. Her career high is 13. Ponzekter over Stevens. And Azrae just kind of puts her hands up like, I had my hand there. Here's Pondexter on top to Pray, a little ball fake. The three, Barry. She's been waiting on that one, and unfortunately, the Dallas Wings don't yeah. want to see her. Rebounds. Campage getting pushed in the back. Is she going to give the sign? Nope, she's not going to flap the wings. Play more minutes or have the role that she wants. So I have a lot of respect for her on that when she's in the paint. But not just in situations like this, but I, I kind of feel like Liz might have lost her own footing. Oh. Oh, this is going to foul. That's going to be an offensive foul. Liz goes to post up, and she feels for where that defender is. And she knows exactly where she's at. And as she swings that arm through there, you know, you don't want to be that jaw. Once again, we want to thank the officials. Tierra came over. It's been upgraded to a, a flagrant one from a common foul. So uh, that's against Liz Cambage. I think that's her second flagrant this year, isn't it? Mississippi State, way downtown to three. A Chumla just timed that offensive rebound perfectly. As a coach, the way a Chumla got that ball. Yeah, just an awesome hustle and anticipation. And what, you know, we were told before the game by the staff of the Indiana Fever is what's special about her is we see Liz show even more versatility. Goal tonight, and as mentioned, she has started the last 10 games, 11 now, including tonight. Five straight game, double figures. We got a basket and a foul. Points of ball game. That's going to be an offensive foul. I know, but you'll see you know. her left foot steps out before Mitchell had time to reroute. And you've got to give that defender enough time. I think it was known that it was a common foul from the very beginning that it happened. I don't know how that becomes a flagrant one or a hostile act, but, you know, they these officials have their way that they are trying to Mitchell, pull up from 13, buries it. Fire. Glory puts the head down on the drive. Count it. We've got a blocking foul. A little press. Taken away. Skyler leads the team along with Kayla Thornton. Steals over to Glory. Kayla Thornton timed the offensive rebound. Gets it back out to Skyler. Azare, one dribble. Pulls the trigger, buries it. That's what you call an escape dribble. Popped it up for the three. Azare Stevens, 17 in the ball game to lead the wings. Couldn't get that one, though. Tried to go for the block. Wasn't able to. He plays this game. Kayla Davis, no. Azare Stevens continues to add to her career high. Be reviewed. We don't need more people asking for reviews. Kayla is uh, really Kayla is tough as nails. The trainer there to help her. I hate Another. to see this for Kayla Davis because yeah. I really felt like in this the previous game and in this game we started to see her play mm -hmm. more like the Kayla Davis that we we became accustomed to. Nothing happened, so Just it right may have there. happened. Yeah, even earlier than. What well, we think the contact occurred. Well, she went down right after that. I think what's happened right now is that the officials came over to us and said inadvertent whistle. Yeah. So that means you have to have an actual substitution that needs to occur instead of Kayla just leaving the floor. But Kayla says, like, let me look. I'm, I'm okay. I Wheeler out front inside of 130 to play in the third on the drive. Counted foul on Azare Stevens, and she took one in the nose. Alexa, you got a little more for us? Well, they're going to go fish the contact out, take her back into the training room. It's good physical contact. Rory doesn't like that. You knew that was going to happen. Phillips trying to pull him back, but here's the sweep through. But it's this second one that the officials are going to say was the illegal contact.
The hottest player on this Indiana team, Cam Bay, 16 footer, and gives us the win. Off of one foot. Off one foot. Ball game for Dallas. Now we want to see him keep the pressure on now. Inside, just getting that roll is McCall. He's the contest with nine points and four rebounds. Ariel Powers elevates, drops it down. That's the patience we're talking about. Exactly. Let the floor well. Gets it to Ariel. Powers in traffic. Puts it up. Got it. That's another way you score is hustle plays. Just doing little things and showing some patience. I'll tell you, Ariel Powers does not give up. They go inside. Foul's going to be on Kayla Davis. The last couple of games, she's come in for Skyler at about the four-minute mark of the opening quarter. McCall from 18 knocks it down. Ball had two points in each of the last three oh, oh. games. As a raid to the whole county. Ray Stevens, again, she's gotten him twice on this little fake handoff attack baseline. Wings will head to New York for their next game. That'll be at 2 o'clock local time. There's that slow-mo vision she's there it got. Is. It's just... Hasn't scored in the last three games she's played. Hasn't even taken a field goal attempt. She was telling me yesterday that she's practicing so hard as Pondexter gets the bucket. She's got a dozen inside of three and a half. Wings will close out this home stand as Kayla Davis with a left-handed layup. Most bench points this year is Indiana not giving up. 42 bench points tonight. Shots are threes. Romero sneaks in behind. AP, baseline jumper, got it. There's six points just by... I think the Wings came out with a sense of urgency to start this game, which was so important. Oh, my! Right on the tailbone. Bounces right wow. up. She's like rubber. I mean, she just bounces right up. In this quarter, just being a lot more patient while still being Ooh. the aerial powers we know with the scores. Yeah, it's just a common foul for Indiana. Largest rebounding margin this year also. AP with two to shoot. Got double figures for aerial powers. And that's going to do it. Wings make it two in a row on this three-game homestand. Also make it two in a row over Indiana this season.